Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about third party cookie, topic of computer network. Let us start with what is cookie. Cookie is just a simple file or string which is stored inside the browser. Cookie is not an executable program. Next, why cookie are used? Let us discuss one scenario to understand why cookie are used. There is one user. User want to access a website on the internet. So first of all, user send a request to the web server. Web server will send a replay to the user of particular request. So website is open. So here user is serve the website and close the website. After some time, user want to access the same website and user sent a request to the web server. But web server does not know that this user is already visited that website or not. So here web server does not store any data of the user because it is stateless process. So how server can remember that user? To keep the record of user, server will send additional information to the replay. Now see in this diagram. So this is the additional information which is inside the replay. So this additional information is called as cookie. So here cookie is stored inside the user PC. So my simple answer is that to remembering the particular user, server will use the cookie. Next, where is the cookie stored? Cookie is stored inside the web browser, but here little bit change. Cookie is stored inside the user's hard drive because browser is installed in the user's hard drive. Next, can user delete cookie from the browser? Yes, obviously user can delete the cookie from the browser. Here I have added some little bit information. User can delete the cookie and also block the cookie through the browser. Next, third party cookie. The purpose of third party cookie is browsing activity across the different sites. For example, to personalize advertisements. So before discuss about third party cookie, I am going to discuss about how cookie works with user's unique ID. We all know that cookie store the very few data of user, but sometimes server want to store more data of user. So at that time, what server can do? Let us take one example. There is one user. User want to access a website. We all know that when user access a website at that time, web server will send a cookie to the user's browser. Now see in this cookie, what is it store? It store the unique ID of user. That unique ID was generated by the server. So that cookie that contains the user's unique ID stored at the user's browser. Now remaining data of the user is stored at server. So now we can say server can store as many as data that server wants. So based on that unique ID of that cookie, web server can recognize the user. Now discuss about cookie that store the user's unique ID. Whenever next time user want to access that same website, so what happened? So at that time user's browser send a cookie to the web server. Web server check the unique user ID of that cookie. Now, based on that unique ID, web server can access the data of that user. The user's data are stored on the web server. Now, based on this example, we can say, so that server who gets the unique ID of user can fetch the data of user. So that is called third party cookie. Let us take another example for better understanding of the third party cookie. There is one user. User will access an e-commerce website and search the wireless router on that e-commerce website. After searching about the router, user will close the website. After closing that website, user will open another website like news website. So during this accessing that news website at that time, some of the ads display on that news website. That display ads is based on user's last search like wireless router searching on the e-commerce website. So this is called browsing activity across the different sites. For example, to personalize ads. So this is the actual purpose of third party. Cookie. If you have any query regarding third party cookie, you can ask me in comment section. If you like this video, please like and share with others and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching this video.